Imagine a world where the thunderous footsteps of a Tyrannosaurus Rex shake the ground, while high in the canopy, a howler monkey's call echoes through the trees. Welcome to an adventure where the age of dinosaurs meets the vibrant jungle world of today. This isn't just a trip through time, it's a journey to discover how the most incredible animals, both ancient and modern, have conquered their environments. Lionesses are the females of the species. Panthera leo, found mainly in Africa, and a small population in India, Asiatic lions. Lionesses do most of the hunting for the pride. They are strategic, cooperative hunters, and often work in teams to bring down prey. Tyrannosaurus lived about 68-66 million years ago in the late Cretaceous period. Tyrannosaurus had the strongest bite of any land animal, about 12,000 pounds of force. Tyrannosaurus may have hunted alone, but sometimes fossils show groups together. Tyrannosaurus Sioux is the biggest and most complete fossil ever found. Snow leopards live in the mountain ranges of Central and South Asia, including the Himalayas, Altai Mountains, and the Tibetan Plateau. Snow leopards are usually solitary, except during mating season or when females are raising cubs. Snow leopards weigh between 60, 120 pounds, 27, 55 kilograms, Zebras live in groups, herds, and often form strong family bonds. Plain zebras form harems, one male with several females and foals, while Grevy's zebras are more solitary. Zebras live in savannas, grasslands, This is the biggest shock for most people. The Velociraptor was not a large, human-sized predator. It was a small, lightweight dinosaur, roughly the dimensions of a large turkey. It weighed around 30 to 40 pounds, 15, 20 kilograms. The dinosaurs in Jurassic Park were actually based on a larger relative, Deinonychus. We have direct fossil evidence proving Velociraptor had feathers. Gorillas are part of the great ape family, along with humans, chimpanzees, and orangutans. Gorillas use tools, show emotions, and can learn sign language. For example, Coco, the gorilla. Gorillas mostly eat leaves, fruit, stems, and bamboo. Occasionally, Stegosaurus comes from the Greek words stegos, roof, and soros, lizard, meaning roof lizard. This is because its discoverer, Othniel Charles Marsh, initially thought the large plates lay flat on its back, like roof tiles, brain the size of a walnut. Stegosaurus had an incredibly small brain for its body size, weighing only about 70 to 80 grams, 2.8 ounces. This led to the famous, but inaccurate, myth. Lions are carnivores and apex predators, 
They mainly eat large animals like zebras, wildebeest, and buffalo. Lions are classified as vulnerable by the IUCN due to habitat loss, human wildlife conflict, and poaching. Lions are the only truly social cats. They live in groups called prides, their offspring. Elephants mourn their dead. They will touch and revisit the bones of deceased companions. They display complex emotions like joy, grief, compassion, and even humor. An elephant's trunk has around 40,000 muscles used for breathing, smelling, touching, grabbing, and trumpeting. Elephants are herbivores, eating 150, 300 kilograms, 330, 660 pounds. Leopards are highly adaptable and can live in forests, mountains, grasslands, and even deserts. Leopards are mostly solitary and territorial animals. They are primarily active at night, nocturnal, hunting and patrolling their territory. Leopards often drag their prey up into trees to keep it safe from scavengers like hyenas. They are primarily active at night, nocturnal, Alligators can grow up to 11-15 feet, 3.4, 4.6 meter, and weigh over 1,000 pounds, 450 kilogram. Their bite force is around 2,000, 125 size strong enough to crush bones. Alligators are ectothermic, cold-blooded, and rely on the sun to regulate body temperature. In cold weather, they enter brumation, outliving dinosaurs. While the frill was certainly useful for defense, its surface was highly vascularized, filled with blood vessels, indicating it might have been covered in a layer of keratin, the same protein that makes up our fingernails, bird beaks, and the sheaths of cattle horns. A canvas for display. This keratinous covering could have been brightly colored, patterned, or even used for visual signaling to other Triceratops. It might have helped in attracting mates, establishing dominance, or recognizing other members of the same species. For most dinosaurs, feathers weren't for flight, they likely evolved for insulation, to keep warm, display to attract mates or intimidate rivals with bright colors and patterns, and camouflage. This means the classic image of a velociraptor is probably wrong. It was likely a feathered, turkey-sized predator. Even a young T-Rex might have had a coat of fuzzy feathers for warmth. Dogs were domesticated from wolves over 15,000 years ago, making them one of the first domesticated animals. Dogs can see in the dark better than humans, due to a structure called the tapetum lucidum in their eyes. Dogs come in an astonishing range of sizes from the tiny chihuahua, about 2 pounds, to the massive English mastiff, up to 250 pounds. For most dinosaurs, feathers weren't for flight. They likely evolved for insulation, to keep warm, 
display to attract mates or intimidate rivals with bright colors and patterns, and camouflage. This means the classic image of a velociraptor is probably wrong. It was likely a feathered, turkey-sized predator. Even a young T-Rex might have had a coat of fuzzy feathers for warmth. For most dinosaurs, We'll uncover amazing secrets, compare giant sizes, and learn about the superpowers that help dinosaurs rule the earth and that allow jungle creatures to thrive in their lush green homes today. Step back in time to the Dino world, a land of giants and tiny hunters alike. Did you know the colossal Argentinosaurus was as long as three school buses and weighed more than a dozen elephants?